Uh, what's a periodic table? You don't know what a periodic table is. If you want to avoid that situation when it comes to opening up your exam papers in the next few weeks, then here are my top 5 GCSE chemistry tips for last minute revision to help save your grade. And of course, without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Out of all the sciences you do at GCSE, you'll often find for chemistry there'll be a lot of repeated questions, and with those repeated questions, that means a lot of repeated mark schemes. And essentially, what I'm getting at here for the first tip is, with these repeated mark schemes, there's always going to be stock phrases you have to know. And usually, I wouldn't advise going through and revising the mark scheme, but when it comes to these very last minute tips, if you do want to make sure you still can get some sort of a good grade then what I suggest you do is go through find some questions throughout past papers that are pretty common and come up pretty frequently and then compare mark schemes and this leads on very nicely to tip number two where I can expand on this and in my notes here I've only put electrolysis and the reason why is I remember when I was doing my own GCSEs electrolysis was one of the topics that kept constantly coming up and often there would be one or two marks on either the definition of it or three or four marks on how to do the process of electrolysis and what I mean by this is is, along with electrolysis there are going to be key topics in these past papers and the paper that you do in May slash June that are going to come up constantly and every single time maybe there's a lot on polymerization addition polymerization condensation polymerization and you know that there's going to be five to six marks at least on your paper this next tip you're going to recognize from primary school and is the look cover right check method and the reason I'm referring to this is because again all the tips in this video are going to be linked back to each other so going back to when we were talking about mark schemes and having to remember stop phrases for stuff that keeps coming over over again instead of trying to remember it all at once which can be hard to do instead what you can do is do the look cover right check method on the four points that you need to know for a four marker let's say that way to go a bit scientific on you guys as you keep writing things down and keep repeating them and keep redoing the definitions of everything or any points that you need to know for the mark scheme there's going to be neural pathways enforced in your mind that are going to help you remember those points or definitions when it comes to the questions that come up in your own paper and for this last tip instead of talking to you guys about it i'm going to explain it on b-roll doing a little question for you guys and it's something similar to the way I did biology but I'm just going to do it in the context of chemistry because you can never go wrong with this tip and it's one of the most useful out there. Okay so we're going to start off with this question to do the whole explain thing and 2a so chlorine has an atomic number of 17 figure 3 shows the arrangement of electrons in an atom of chlorine what is the electronic configuration of this atom? Very simple this you just count the number of electrons in the different shells and then the points between and the shells. So two in the first one, eight in the second one, and then seven in the third one. So it would be two, eight, seven. Let us see. And now this is the question I wanted to focus on. Explain using figure three why chlorine belongs to group seven of the periodic table. So you want to scroll up. This is figure three and you want to see why. And the reason I always say these questions can be very simply done is because there's one key word that you want to use to make sure you get the mark. And in this question, they're already asking you the why chlorine belongs. So you don't really necessarily have to do this where you have to link two points, but it's important just to write this down in case you want. So the word I always use for explaining questions is because. So you want to say why chlorine belongs to group seven of the periodic table is because there are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven electrons in its outer shell because and now we're just going to check the mark scheme and see what the mark scheme is saying and over here we have two AI there are seven electrons in the outer shell and here we say because there are seven electrons so that's one mark and the outer shell which is the second mark and thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please like share comment and subscribe and i hope you found it useful and yeah thank you so so much for watching and i hope you guys do super well on your chemistry exam and i'll see you guys next week with a brand new one bye for now